also like Victor cooperating with and, totally and, agree. And yeah. you know, audience out there, if, if any of you want to do this, you you go for it. Yeah. <laughs> fight with the liability with, with arcane owners and mm -hmm. as as far as mine, I, I would like to buy one. So if you make yeah. it, let me know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. That's funny. Yeah. And um sorry. Pardon me. Uh, I like that in, in this episode, her conversation with her assistant, that you get a very clear uh, indicator. And Brian, I'd love your commentary on this, that Mel is aware of threats to Piltover far beyond Zahn. Uh, and yeah. then when she's asking Jace and Victor to weaponize what they've got, it's not necessarily primarily to deal with Silco. Silco's a warm up for her, I feel like. And do you agree with that, though, that you can't put... Once something's invented, you can't put it back in the bottle. Because Heimerdinger seemed to imply that this had been a thing before, and somehow it got squished back in the bottle. And now it's back again. And now it's at back again. But he's old, right? I mean, is he thousands, hundreds? How long Still has he been in the bottle? About 300. Still around. But can you think of a real-world example where we invented a technology, and it was viable, useful, and effective, and we decided not to use it anymore? Yes. To a uh, without a better option. Without yes. a better option, a more economical option. Yes. What technology? So uh, gunpowder in Japan. And you could argue that their better option for the people who were putting it back in the bottle was to to stay with the swords. And um, sailing ships in just in China. Okay. Built a great fleet. Two things. I'll, the emperor I'll, I'll decided to burn them. And I mean, it, it only stayed in the bottle for a while. But it did That's what I'm saying, while. though. Like... And, and where did Japan and China end up on the power scale of civilizations? When they met they... the people who didn't put it in the bottle. <laughs> yeah. So what does China end up? China ends up a vassal state to the Europeans and then to Japan. What mm -hmm. does Japan end up? Because it didn't adopt early enough. It ends up our ally. Yeah. But definitely the junior partner after we smashed them in World War II. So you well, can try to be the junior because that was that was part of the that was part of the impetus for the imperialist expansion in the late 30s and 40s of Japan is that they were yep. very cognizant of this idea that like you know self strengthening program yes. right we are we you know they they there was there was like a a little bit of a chip on the shoulder of mm -hmm. you know the Europeans think that they're better than us because they had the gunpowder you know they used gunpowder first and we yeah, got and our guns we didn't invent it clearly no um, but and so and so you know, during the Meiji Restoration and, and beyond, and then after that, there was this whole, that was part of the reason for the rise of, I mean, it, Bushido didn't rise during the Meiji Restoration necessarily, but it, but it all kind of fed into it, right? And so that was that was the, the rise of this imperialist culture, this militaristic culture that, um, that was prominent, predominant in Japan in the late 30s was, you know, we should be the emperors of, at least of Asia, you know, yeah. there is no reason why the British should rule the seas. We should rule the seas. And so, you know, that was that was why they invaded China. That was why they started building their, you know, their fortress of ring islands ar around the mainland islands. Um, and it directly led to Pearl Harbor and it directly led to them getting nuked twice, you know? Yeah. So, Joelle, in, in answer to your question, like, yeah, I, I suppose it is possible to stuff the genie back in for a little while. But then it's good. There's a very good chance it's going to get used against you. Yeah, I don't think we can definitively say that it has never been stuffed back in successfully. Because if it had been stuffed back in successfully, we wouldn't know, here, right? Okay, we have. Then I'll face it. I'll phrase it this way: I see a insufficient evidence of a case where a significant technological advance was denied by a civilization and that it either didn't come back eventually or end up with them suffering a massive loss uh, of some sort uh, on the world world stage. You're correct. There could be an example I either just don't know about because I haven't researched it well enough or that is just not really well known to history because it turns out had you gone down this track of development, it would have come up with the longer lasting light bulb or a cure for pancreatic cancer or, or whatever, you know, like you're correct in that, but or we'd have taller skyscrapers because we could use Damascus steel. <laughs> yeah. Something, of something like that. So possible, 
Like, I, I grant you that. But now I'm trying to prove a negative. And yeah, yeah. We all know that that's not a, a winner's game. Go ahead, Brian. It looks like you have something to say. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 I think the conversation is not quite the right framing. Um, Heimerdinger wasn't saying this tech is dangerous, so he did get to there. It was that thing right there specifically is an active bomb, and it will go off soon. Destroy that thing. Yeah. Although he, he does put the brakes on Victor and Jace, uh, I think... I would say to too great of a degree. And it was what leads them to ultimately rebel and Jace to oust him mm -hmm. uh, from political power. But yeah, you're, you're correct in the particulars, Brian, that he says that particular development could kill us all. You need to destroy it. So that, that is true. But to go, you know, to, to kind of underscore your point about Mel's point, Justin, you know, there's a reason that the saying sick vis passim parabellum has existed for thousands of years, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's it's a truism. If if you want peace, prepare for war. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's essentially- the <laughs> verb, you can't argue with Latin. <laughs> that's um, right, you can't argue with Latin. But I mean, it, it's an underpinning of our national strategic strategy, even to this day, you know, mm -hmm. strategic deterrence is, is still a huge part of, of, of what we as the United States do for, for that reason.